Hi and welcome to this week's web design video blog. Not too long ago my colleague Nick and I talked about the EU cookie law and looked at some of the options for both website owners and developers alike. Today Andy and I are updating this video as the UK deadline bears down. That's right, James and I are going to cover what the EU cookie law is, how it's evolved since the original law in 2003, some simple grounding facts, whether you need to be worried about it, what options are available and what we're doing here at Creare. If you haven't already read up on the EU cookie law, I'd recommend starting by watching this two and a half minute video on YouTube. It explains it in a clear and humorous animation. Follow the link on the screen or you'll see that we've embedded it below on our supporting blog post. Once you've watched that video, we'd rec recommend downloading and reading these two official PDF guidelines that we've also linked up from the supporting blog post. So hopefully after you've checked those items out as well, you'll have a better understanding of what the EU cookie law is and what the, uh, the governing body, the ICO, are expecting from all UK websites. Right, let's get down to some facts that we've researched that should be correct as of today. A few weeks before the non-compliance with this UK law legally starts to become a punishable offence. The EU cookie law is an amendment to the original law on privacy and cookies that has been in effect since 2003. Ask yourself if your current website complies with this existing law that's been in effect even before Andy and I finished college. Second point, if you read the PDF guidelines, it looks as though in future browsers may completely take over this whole opt-in, opt-out thing, meaning we don't have to worry about the impact on usability and analytics reporting that compliance may cause. However, this isn't going to happen for a few years, so don't get pinning your hopes on that. Here's an important one, take a look at some of the big UK websites. 2012 Olympics, BBC, maybe the DVLA and eBay, they all beautifully conform to the original 2003 law with detailed privacy and cookie information. But as of right now, none of them, in my opinion, meet the requirements set out in the new EU cookie law. It's an interesting point. Have these big websites developed their compliance solution already? And are they simply waiting for the last possible minute to impede usability and analytical reporting? Or like everybody else, are they relaxed and waiting to be nudged by a governing finger to upgrade to the new EU cookie law? So, like in Silk Tide's two and a half minute video, there are three simple options to handling this EU cookie law. You can ignore the law, stop using cookies, or adapt and ask for permission. We're not going to give advice on the first two options, but let's discuss, discuss option three. If you're using popular open source platforms like WordPress and Magento, you'll be pleased to know that plugins and extensions exist for becoming compliant. Magento 1.7, which is the latest stable release, comes with EU cookie compliance out of the box and uses the accordion style drop down. But what about bespoke or simple bread and butter websites? Well, we've developed our own solution, which is similar to Magento, whereby an accordion drops down and doesn't go away until the user allows cookies to be dropped by the website. This would be our recommended method if you're looking for full blown compliance in the least intrusive way possible. Our advice in general though, is don't panic. If you haven't done so, watch the Silk Tide video, read the guidelines from the ICO and make an informed decision about compliance. We're explaining to all of our customers what the EU cookie law is, presenting them with all the information and the solutions that we've made available should they wish to pursue partial or full compliance ahead of the big day. If you're a little nervous, our best advice is to begin adapting your website to at least meet the requirements of the 2003 law. This means having an accessible and detailed privacy and cookies page, listing what cookies your site drops and what they do amongst other things. The ICO are insisting that the law isn't going away, so keep your ear to the ground, read the guidelines and make an informed decision. Thanks for watching this week's video. Please leave any comments or contributions on the supporting blog post.